Good afternoon, everybody. Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Paul Grogan, and today we're going to be doing a live tutorial and playthrough of My Abbey, uh, published by Haber Games and designed by Michael Keesling, who is one of the designers who was around when I started board gaming in the very late 90s. Keesling and Kramer were a duo that did lots of games together and are still doing lots of games together. And in fact, I did a I did a Keesling and Kramer game a couple of weeks ago. I did Torres, which is 20 years old. Anyway, enough of that. Today, we're going to be doing My Abbey. This is going to be a tutorial and a playthrough video. I'll switch to the overhead camera now. You can say hello to Rick and Arthur. Hi there. Hello. Uh, and apparently Gaming Rule says we're going live in five minutes. Right, so that YouTube chat is working. If you are watching this on Facebook or YouTube, uh, please pop a message in the chat and just let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. Uh, just to make sure everything is working fine. I'm going to enable the Facebook comments now. And there we go. So that should be working. I think James is here again. Thank you very much, James, for joining in. Uh, and yes, my Abbey. So the theme of this game is uh, Vila Japana. I've got the German version. <laughs> Flip the rule book over. Right, Japanese style gardens. It's a form of art, elegant art, expression through nature. Nothing is left to chance. Everything is planned to the last detail. We are a Japanese style gardener uh, designing a garden and creating a place of calm. That's what we're doing. Or in other words, scoring points. Yes. My abbey is actually Japanese for elegance, grace, or refinement. So there we go. Right, I'm going to put the rule book away and try and teach from memory. Learn how to play this morning. Ori's here as well. Thank you very much, Ori, for joining in. And Eric is here in the Facebook chat and says he can hear me and see me okay. Excellent. Right, so we're playing the game over a series of rounds. And you can see on this board here that in a three-player game, we play five rounds. If we were four players, we'd play four rounds. And in a two-player game, you play six rounds. Each round consists of players taking turns in clockwise order. Uh, we randomly determine that Rick is the start player for the first round. So you're going to take the first turn. Mm -hmm. And that will go round clockwise until we have taken six turns. After six turns, the round is over. And then we move the round marker on. The little... Uh, bonsai tree. Bonsai tree. I was thinking cherry blossom. But no, bonsai tree will move clockwise. And then we'll start the next round. So five rounds... Six turns per round. What do you do on your turn? Well, at the start of the round, you take out tiles. Now, the tiles that you take out is based on the number of players in the game. So we are a three-play game. So we've taken out six of the small ones, six of the medium ones, three of the large ones, and three of the extra large ones. They were taken at random out of the box, which is off camera. Okay? So you take a certain number of tiles out at the start of the round, and then you place them all face up. Right. So Rick, on your turn, what you will do is you will choose one of those tiles mm -hmm. and you'll put it on your board. Very simple, okay? But there are rules about where you can place it. And I'm gonna just zoom in. Oh, Jan is here and Hans is here, excellent. I'm gonna zoom in on my player board just for a second. Is it that one? It's that one, yes. Yep. All right, and you can see Christmas Monkey is here, supervising. Let's say I've taken this tile, okay? The rules about the tiles are they must be placed within the six by six boundary, so you can't have them overlapping the edge. You must place the, each tile comes with a particular object and you must place that object so it is in the appropriate row. Now, I can put the green spaces in other rows like that, but that object needs to be in this row because they match. So I could put it like that, or I could put it like that, or I could put it there or wherever, okay? The other thing is you need to also check the column where you put that object, and there cannot be a lantern in that column. If that lantern was there, I could not place that there. I would have to place it somewhere other than that. And then once you've placed it on the board, you then put a lantern in the column where the object is. So this will basically get gradually locked down as the game goes on, as you are placing more tiles. There is another rule as well, in that you could uh, let's put that legally there, right? You could place a tile at a higher level. So as long as everything underneath it, as long as this tile's underneath it, you can put it like that. And you can actually go up levels. Now we're only using an overhead camera, but we will tell you when we are putting tiles on top of one another, that you can see. Now the reason why you're placing tiles is to score points. And what you will get is you will get one point per object on that tile multiplied by the height. So that tile there would get me three points. If I put that one there, that would get me three points. But then if I put that one there, I'd have to get four points. Because it's two 
multiplied by 2 because it's on the second level. And that is the rules about placing tiles on your board. Now, if you can't place a tile, that's bad. Because what happens is you skip your turn, but actually you're then out for the whole round. So remember, a round consists of six turns. If you get into a position where you cannot place a tile, you are out for the rest of the round. Okay, other things. These bonus tiles here, these are one-off bonus tiles awarded to the first player who has um, and places a tile with that object at level five. As soon as you do that, you will score the points indicated on the tile. And then finally, at the end of the game, and I'm just going to go back to my overhead camera again for a minute. At the end of the game, you'll see down the left-hand side here, what you'll do is you'll count up the number of visible objects in that row. So if you've covered a tile over, it doesn't count. The player with the most of them scores 15, second scores 7. If it's a tie, both get the 15, but nobody gets the 7. And I think that's it. If there's a tie for second place? I think they both get the 7. Okay. Yeah. Um, are there any other rules that I haven't mentioned? I, I think that's it. No, Apart that's from, it. this is the basic game. We're going to be playing the basic game today. At the end of the video, I am going to tell you a little bit about the seven mini expansions which are included in the box. So if you're thinking this game's a bit simple, it is. The base game is, and it's perfectly um, you know, acceptable as a gateway game or a family game or whatever you want to call it. Um, but then when you start adding in the expansions, it makes it a little bit more complicated, which we'll get to later on. Right, so if there's no questions in the chat about the rules, we'll make a start. Ricky's going first. I want this one. You want that one, do you? Yeah. Okay. I'll line it up. It's going there. Yeah. So you'll get three points for that. You're black, so we move you up onto score three. And then you have to put a lantern in that row. And that is it. Right, Arthur. Three points. Three points. Yeah. Nice and simple. Yeah, I mean, these are all three points. They're two points and they're one point. So it does seem an obvious first move, doesn't it? To take things with rocks on. As it were. I'm collecting rocks. You are, yeah. You're not allowed so, rocks. Well, I uh, can't <laughs> let you have too many rocks. Um, I'm going to take this piece. Ah. And I'm going to put it down here in the corner, score myself three points, and then put a lantern in that column there. And there you go. There wasn't a rule about the fish. But, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. For the, you score on, for the fish. On these tiles, the fish are the objects, yeah. not the pond. Mm. Yes. And there's three of them, if you can't see. Right. Oops. Oh, you're taking that one, are you? Yeah. Two points. Two points. You stick your lantern. Oh, yeah. He's getting into rocks as well. What's this? Never enough rocks. Three points. Three points. No six. Yeah, why is that on five? Because right. I need two points. Oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> well, I'm going to have uh, some fish. Because we like fish. So I can't put it there. I could put it, I could put, no, 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 it's going to go there, hasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to put it there, put a lantern there and get three points. There you go. I'm going to go for fishies as well. Yep. Yeah. These fishies are going all the way over here. Three points. Three points. It's all nice and simple to start with, and I'm sure it'll... <laughs> Oh. Get harder as the game well, goes. I could actually put. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I can put a lantern on there. Two points. Two points. <coughs> right, what have we got left? So, have I messed everything up? I don't. I don't. I don't think I have at this stage, which is, which is good. There's single ones. There is single ones, yeah. Which, uh, yeah. Uh, now I could go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want that. What? The rocks? No. I think I do. You don't want any of them. I'm going to take these because nobody's taken these. Oh. So I can't put it there, I can't put it there, but I am going to put it... I kind of should be building up a, a clock.
club, shouldn't I? I'm not doing that. Never mind. So I'm going to put that <laughs> there, which gets me two points, and a lantern on there. Two points. There you go. All even Stevens at eight each, which I suspect Rocks. it would be. So you could have put that at a higher level. Oh, no, you couldn't, because you have to put it where there isn't a lantern. Correct. Two points. <coughs> but okay. I'm thinking next round. Yeah. Thinking ahead. Hmm. Yeah, start overlaying those um, oh, those okay. tiles. Well, hopefully going to get some of the other bits. Two points, I presume that's two. Can't, can't go there. Why Damn. not? Oh, no, it can't, because it has to be in line with the... Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm not registering. Uh, <laughs> the, the blue little... Do I, which case, do I want to do that? Yeah. Do I want to do that? Probably. Well, I want to do that, so... Uh, yeah. Two points. Uh, now I'm going to take this one, because mm. it's worth two instead of one. Um... Okay, and I'm going to go there, which is also two points. There you go. So it's all completely tied on ten points each after four turns. And it's going to be. I think and it's going it, to be for the first it. round. I think the first round is going to be relatively Innocuous. simple, like this. Yeah. Well, yeah, there is a lot of forward planning and thinking, isn't there? Bush. One point. One point. A one point bush. Another one point oh. bush. So I'm going to take that and put it there, which is a point. And then the last turn of the first round, bush. Point for you, point for me. Yeah, and I have no choice. It has to go there and it has to go there. So it's a point for everyone. That's a point for me as well. Right, and we are done. So that is the end of the first round. The bonsai tree passes on. Your lanterns come off the board. And we get some new tiles out of the box. Rick, if you don't mind doing the honours. Same as not before, I guess. Yes, Adam is here. Hi, Adam. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, so you want six small ones. Three reds, three greens. Yeah. Three of each of the big ones. And then six. Six of each of the small ones. Two. Four. Six. And then one. Two, three, four. Components wise, these are really big, thick, chunky two, four, six. tiles. Which they need to be if you're stacking them up. Right, round two of five. Off we go. Ooh, the reds have come out to play. Right, I shall take that one. I'm going to start. I'm just going to have a look now. I, I shall place it there on a level oh. two. Six points. So six points because it's three times <coughs> level two. Three blossoms. Do you want to do your points? And I'm going to have a look at mm. what I should be taking. Interesting. Yeah. Gosh. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Do you feel serene in your garden? Oh, very serene. Good. I'm going to take this and That's I'm going to put I it want here. It. <laughs> so I get three oh, points well. for that. One, two, three, and I put a lantern there. There we go. Did I take the tile you wanted? I, you did. I'm going to have to go reds. Three points for me as well, please. Three for black. <coughs> six oh, points. Yeah. Zooming ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. You meant to all stay together in points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I was <laughs> Sorry. But well, you're meant to do what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come to a grinding halt real soon. <laughs> That's interesting. I can't take that tile. Indeed. Mm, can you, uh, no, you wow. There's nowhere I can no. put it. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess I'll take some fishies then. And I think. Oh, well, I can't put it there because of the lantern. No. Which means I've 
got yeah. to put it there. Or one along. Oh, I could put it there. Mm. Yeah, let's put it there. So the lantern yes. goes there, and I get three points. One, two, three. Nice. Three points. Four points. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I should be building up. <laughs> We're not, are we? We're not <laughs> building up at all. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, and I should be looking at what other people are collecting for points and stuff. Have a online. Oh, excellent. Thank you very much for joining in. Actually, I think we've got I've the done right. something wrong. I think it should be like that. Yes, it should. Yeah, except for that. So I think I'm going to take these fishes here. <laughs> Ooh. And I'm going to put it, so fish is in that, there isn't a lantern there, so I can put it there and I'm overlaying. So I'm putting two fishes at level two, which is four points. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So I'm following Arthur's lead at building up. You may come to a crushing point <laughs> in a minute, I'm not sure. I kind of spread out first. Well, I haven't thought far enough ahead, we'll see. But we will see. Yeah, the first round was a very nice, Civilized. very simple, put things down nothing can go wrong and mm. now we're at the stage where we're like oh wait a minute yeah um why did he put his lantern on the second column I, hi kim thank you for joining in just fixed that yeah i think he just spotted that uh two by two by four please four points for black one two three four me and you are keeping the pact yeah <laughs> staying on the same points always stay on the same Arthur's, <laughs> Arthur's <laughs> running off on his own <laughs> doing my own thing Okay, we're in this column probably, so... Yeah, now the single tiles are looking more attractive when you can For start, you. Yeah, start fitting them in. <coughs> Does it matter? It's interesting how we're always going to have to take some of each. Yeah. Two points. Okay, so, um, hmm. green trees, bushes. Yes. Um, and I'm going to put it there so I can do that because of that and that that can go there and that's four, two, four points that's it now one, two, me three, four. that's just mean two points I'm taking tactical advice from Christmas monkey <laughs> <laughs> two points <laughs> thank you Christmas monkey Look. one point oh, interesting yeah, it's still one point. No, it'd be two points to put on a higher level, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. Go on, I'll stick with one point. One point? Right, what we got left? Stuff. The problem is make it harder to stack up, though, doesn't it? That's the thing. You, you can put the singles on mm -hmm. early on. But it's harder but to stack it up. It is harder to stack up, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's deceptively simple. I think I need that. And I think I need to put it here. Yeah, that looks good. So the lantern goes there, and I get a point for that. But I think it's worth it because I'm building up my my base. Hmm. I think I probably need this green one here. So that just just goes. leaves me potatoes. Here. <laughs> uh, uh. <clears throat> one point. Did you get your points? Uh, no, sorry, one point. Right, so my last go. Which of those do I want? Go for that one. No. <laughs> don't listen to my advice in my have any potato. <laughs> I'll take that one. You can have any potato you like. Yeah. And it's got to go there. In which case. Which goes there, Mine's goes there, and I get a point. I also get a point. There we go. That is the end of round two. That's so, we move on. Lanterns come off the board. Yeah, we move on to round three. Quick, I've, broke, I've broken the bonsai tree. So far, yeah. The bonsai tree is broken. <laughs> there we, we go. Pass the I've heard they're hard to look after. Ah, trees. there you go. Right, round three. Oh, new Can ones. we have some more tiles? More yeah. tiles out of the bag. Two. Um, so for those people in the chat, let me know if you've played this or not. Um, I was speaking to Tiffany from Haber last week or this week, and I think three, you said that it was available in the US next year yeah i think you said there's another shipment coming in or something like that what's really nice to see is as i say six 
Michael Kiesling and other big games designers are branching out and going into these shorter, lighter games. So three of each of the big ones. Remember, the, the tiles that were taken out of the box depend on the number of players in the game, which is based on this tile here. Mm. So you take out more tiles with more players, obviously. Mm. Uh, and it's me first, isn't it? Right. So I'm just going to have a look. You've got eight red trees, lots of rocks. You've gone through it with the... Flowers. Yeah. Blossomy bushes. Rhododendrons. Yeah, why not? We've got two in the garden. I just can't remember what they're called. Um, well, maybe not that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm ahead on the green bushes. I'm ahead on the fishes. The thing is, you can cover them up. They'll be gone. No yeah, longer. I don't want to cover them up. Um, and that's the problem. If I decide to take those three rocks there, which is quite tasty. You don't want those three rocks. Oh, I do. <laughs> but the problem is, if I take those three rocks, it covers over my three bushes. <laughs> I can now see, once you've played this game a couple of times, there's definite skill in your early placements, whereas I was kind of just putting stuff mm. down. Mm -hmm. um, I want the, a base yeah. to start with later. I think I'm going to have to do it. Oh. I'm going to have to take the rocks. Because I can't place that, and I can't place that. So the rocks are going here. So that's three rocks at level two, which is six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Yeah, right, okay. Uh, and then the lantern goes in that column there. There you go. Kent is here. Fun playthrough. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, it is. Well, I'm enjoying it so far, so. Well, there's a couple of things I want to do, but I think um, it would be worthwhile getting them and going down. I mean, it covers over. It does cover over a three lots red. and lots of your red flowers. Well, it swaps a three for you, and I could put it there. That's keeping it the same. It's got to be better, hasn't it? Six. Six points. So from 26 to 32. And you stick your lantern here. Where's that going to go? <laughs> Three points for yellow. Into 35. Arriving here Friday. Mm. All right, cool. Uh, oh. mm, decisions are hard. It, yeah, mm. but considering the choices I now have, that have suddenly became become available to me. Don't take the one I want. <laughs> it's my well, advice. Well, <laughs> I was thinking of it. Damn it. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put it here. Good. That's not the one I wanted. So that gets me three points. One, two, three. Damn it. Three points. One, two, three. I don't need to rethink now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fill up the space so I can build lots up. Oh, wow, theory. Wow. I mean, there is, certainly in a two-player game, there might be a little bit of, oh, I know they really want that tile, I'm going to grab it. Mm -hmm. But in a three-player game, and certainly in a four-player game, I'm, I'm focused more on me. You have to focus. Primarily. Really yeah. Problem is, maybe I've gone a bit too thin. Yeah, I thought that. Mm. Two points. Two points. Yeah, no. But if I've got this correct, no, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't got it correct at all. Um, <laughs> oh, no, that's gone. Oh, doesn't quite fit. Hmm. Rats. The danger is not being able to go at certain points. Mm. Yeah. The danger is increasing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now, the danger this round is for Arthur. Mm. Because you, you might miss your last tile. Mm -hmm. 
Whereas at least on my last turn, I've still got a choice of three. But you're right, it does get it does get harder, doesn't it? Do we want to go up? Hmm. I think we're going to go up. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put it there. So this is a level three piece Ooh. for six points. Oh, no, I can't go there. Lantern. Lantern. <sighs> can't, can't put it. Oh, yeah. But then... Yeah. Six points. Okay, yeah. <coughs> Let's do that. Let's put that there. But then, yeah, that stone thing goes there. there. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? There you go. Now, I'm playing the long game. Oh, you know. Yeah. So I'm going for this one. Yeah, that's the one for I wanted to try and fit in. For three points. Damn it. That's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. I, I was trying to build the base to get that in. But I'm trying to fit that next Could time. On. And then, right, the last turn, put loads higher up, is the theory. In fact, we can put the we can put the tree down because it's a that's overhead better. camera. is actually better for the overhead camera. My abbey is already available here in the US, says Kim. Mm. Right. I think... Yeah, well, if Tiffany's still in the chat, let us know, because I think you said something about you're expecting another shipment in. Um, so it might be that it is available, just stocks alone. Um, maybe it's time to do some pond life. Fish? Mm. Two points for yellow. Two points for yellow. Well, I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to go up higher. Oh, my lord. So eight points because it's two trees at height four. Eight points. He's One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Gosh. That escalated, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, how? How? Can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. How did you do that? That. That's better. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was the pesky lantern rule. Yeah, I can still do it. 25 seconds time somebody will say in the chat can't do that ball <laughs> yeah. like, yes, we'll how does this compare to Rosenberg's gardening trilogy seems similar that is a very good point I've only played the first one of them Cottage Garden, Cottage Garden. Like in fact ones. have I played Cottage Garden or do I just think I've played it's it got, it's got I haven't played it's it it's got cats in it it's got cats in it <laughs> I've heard lots of other people playing it at game I night I don't know whether I have played it no there was that time it was played twice in the same evening on two consecutive tables four points for black please I don't think I've played it. Have you played Cottage Garden? <coughs> yeah. Does it compare? Uh, well, it's title lane, but I mean, apart from that, there's okay. not, not a lot of. Um, my go, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Six points because it's level three. Six points. Right. So, what have we got here? We have some shenanigans and some stuff. Shadow Higgins. Well, I'm going to take. Oh. Get on that one. Well, that's going to allow me to fill that gap there, but do I want to fill that gap there? Do I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just joining in. I'm looking at symbols. I'm going to take this one and put it there for two points. So, one, two. Damn it. Go. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, it's in stock in Miniature Market and Cool Stuff Inc. right now. Uh, Graham's saying he can't see that it's in stock anywhere in the UK. Yeah, I'm not sure about UK distribution. Um, so, if Haber are in the chat, let us know what the situation with is in the UK. One point. One point for Black, where you can get it from. <clears throat> well, this is a fine mess, isn't it? It's another fine mess you've got us into. So we've got up to five rounds, haven't we? So we're already we're on. Room, this is ha this is round, round three. Yeah. Gosh. So this is more than halfway through. I'm going to have to start building up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up is where it's happening. That's where all the cool kids are. Right. One point. Go again. Now. We are yellow. So what we're looking at here, <coughs> flowers, blue house, or fish. And I can only place in here. So 
Let's take the flowers and put it there for a nice easy one point. There we go. Fish. Two um, points. Graham said he can import a German copy. Yeah, yeah, it's language independent. In fact, the rule book is two two points. English, German. So if you find the German version, if you find the German version, you'll English. probably get English rules. Yeah, the German English rules. That'd be handy. We are done. We are at the end of round three. Gosh, me again. You get the uh, the bonsai tree. It's round four. Three big ones. And we don't use all of the tiles as well. So it could be that some of the things will come out. Or maybe we do. Might use them all, don't we? I'm thinking maths. There's five rounds. Oh, you mean all the tiles in the box? No, we don't. Yeah, we do not use all of the tiles in the game. So we're not going to get uh, the perfect distribution of the different objects. But we'll use most of them. Right, and I am now the last player, so I think things might slow down a little bit <coughs> with respect to what we need to think about here. Hmm. Because I am close to getting wow. my level five. Well, annoyingly, I've got this gap here, but I can just fill it straight it's the away. Valley of Doom. I could just fill it straight away, but it's dangerous, isn't it? Anything so that goes there dies. Yeah, let's do it. So you're putting fish in there, poor fish. I know. Three points. Three points for black. I've filled out the whole thing. You mark the right column. Yep. Oh, sorry, is that some reason? But now I could be able to do a lot more up. Yeah, you have laid your foundations now. Right for round four. Hmm. Maybe I need to do a bit of infilling. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I should have taken that single rock and then it, oh no, I couldn't because there was already a lantern there. Ah. Mm -hmm. How do you do this? <laughs> this is indeed Trixie. Or I could just be. I'll just go for the nine points. <sighs> yeah, you see. You get lots of points early. Oops, Three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nicely done. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to be taking uh, a triple fish and I'm going to put a, be putting it here, which is six points because it's three fish at level two. Yeah. One thing goes there. So six points. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm going with three bushes. At level two, six level points. Two, six one, points. Two. Three, four, five, six. Eight points. Eight. Yeah, you see, that's the danger of just. I like a little stack. That's not level five, is it? It's level four. Mm. But you're close to getting level five. So that's when you think, oh, maybe I should take that. Maybe you should. <laughs> then I'll take a better tile. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Because it's nine points taking that first. Now, how can I get that? I can't get that. <coughs> how can I get that? You can't get that. No, I can. <laughs> I can totally get that. Don't get that. Whatever you do, don't get that. <sighs> but do I want to take that? Um, uh, yeah. Okay, totally taking it. Ooh. So fish goes in there. Three fish multiplied by level two, six points. Uh, and that was there, wasn't it? Done. So Graham saying he can import a German copy for twenty-seven pounds eighty-six, including shipping. That's right. That is pretty good. I'm yeah. Gonna have three bushes, which are going to live, including shipping. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. There. Six, Six points. points. Well, I can't resist the temptation. <sighs> yeah. So that goes on there for five points. Yeah. Because it's one hut at level yeah. five. But then, because you have built the mm. level five hut, you get that, which is immediate nine points. Wow. There you go. We'll just pop that off to the side there. All the best lane plans. 
Uh, I'm going to say this one. And it's going to go in here. And that gets me 4 points 2 times 2. thinking going on here now yeah <laughs> slowed down slightly uh, and remember for those people who have just tuned in there is end game scoring based on how many of these you have compared to the other players so yeah constantly checking because without that it would be very much multiplayer solo but that majority bonus really makes me start looking at what other people are doing four points not very exciting Oops. four points Eight points. Right. I'm going to take a double bush. I'm not sure it's elegant, but. <laughs> 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 I'm hoping that the last round I'll get a load of big points. So that's two bushes. You, 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 have, you have played for that, yes. Six it's points. The theory. <laughs> there you go. Whereas I've just been greedy. Oh, that's me again. So you again. Yeah, turns come around quick. Four points. Four. Now all of the remainder, you guys are all stronger. I mean, I don't know what these are. Whatever they are, you got loads of them. Whatever these are, you've Freeze. got loads of them. Well, actually, they're bushes. They're bushes. Neck and neck and Paul ever do that. So that's not all bad. And ponds, never heard of them. Right, okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, can I want put that legally there for three points. Right, what have we got left? Fishes or red bushes? And I can only go there and there. So I think I'm going to take a red bush and put it there. Which covers over those red bushes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to take a fish. <laughs> which is the cover of my fish. Terrible. But I'm going to do it anyway. So that's two points. Two points. Yeah, done. I may have to do that. One point. One point. <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that one point? And it's one point for me as well. What are those things on the edge? Are there leaves? Okay. One times two, so two points. Two points even, yeah. You get two. Yeah. I get one. <laughs> we are done. That is round four. Last we round. are now moving into the last round. Well, I've really got to hope for the right things to come out now. And I'm last. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, that's not what we wanted. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to level five on anything. Not very like, well. It's not well. No. No. <laughs> Depends on these. I could I could get to level five on the trees. Because <coughs> when you're level two on things. Okay, I'm first, I believe. Oh, you so are cool. first, yes. Why haven't we got any of the oh. <laughs> I shall pick these no, things. That's what I wanted. There. I oh. shall place it there. That's two times five is ten points. So from 42 to 52. And I get this thing. Which is another. Five points. One, two, three, four, five. Right, well, that's completely messed up. Good, because my turn. My messed. entire thing. Because oh, I was going to put the stone on the there and then put that on there. Oh. <laughs> right, how can I get out of this? I can't. There isn't a way. Oh, no, there is. But is that the best thing to do? That's level five on there. Mm. Possibly not. How can that? Oh, ah! Just don't do that. Whatever you do. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Need to work out what you're going to take. Uh oh. 
<laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you take that, I'm completely messed up. So if, oh no, I need a backup plan. <laughs> um, uh, gonna have to, I'm going to have to take that. I'm going to have to do it because if you take the one that I'm thinking you might take I can't actually get what I need to get so I'm going to go for this one wow yeah I'm going to put it on there because that gets me the five points for that and then the six point bonus yeah that. look at all these bonus points you guys are getting you're um, almost lapping me look yeah well <coughs> Because I was worried you were going to take that one. <laughs> that was the one I was Because I, I had a 15 <laughs> point placement there. That was so the one I was going to take. That was pretty good. That was the so one I was going to take. And now I'm. There you go. Stitched. It's all very tense in the last round. <laughs> now I'm stitched. Um, oh. <clears throat> Am I going to be able to get another level 5? Unlikely. Highly unlikely. I'm only have to get a level four. No. <laughs> Six points. Nicely done. Uh, right. Pop that there, which is four points of fishes. One, two, three, four. Nine points. Nine points. Uh, one, two, and another seven. Hmm. If I don't win, I blame Monkey. It's Monkey's fault. Tactical advice. <coughs> That's what I'm asking. <laughs> You're not doing very well at tactical advice, are you? No. Hmm. My garden looks pretty. It does. You've got bald patches in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> Big pile of trees. <laughs> Three, six, seven, eight. Mm. Let's cover over. A fish, did not I? Six points. Take this one. Put it there. Nine points. That's what I wanted. Uh, which is but good news is, nine. is there another one? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so it's getting tricky. It's tricky. I've go round. I've go round. Tricky. Hmm. Yeah, the not being able to place in the same column twice is six points. Very uh, four points. It's a pain, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but without it, you, you have yeah. way too much freedom. It's really making you think. How are we doing for fish? I'm winning on the fish. I'm second Two, place six, on the red seven, trees. Nine, I'm joint second on the houses. Can I get another house in? No. Um, <coughs> oh, is that what those are? Houses? I think they're houses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pink things, no. Trees, no. Not even winning that one. You got seven. And rocks, not even winning that one. Right. So, I'm hoping these will help me in the end. Okay. I could say some more fishes. Keep it safe. 
Because I'm on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm on 3, 6, 8. You're on 8, so if you take that... <laughs> We'd just share the top We'd score. We'd share, but that's 9 points to you. Um, but I think I'm going to take... Still get 4 at the moment. Huh. Can I take this house one? No, I can't. No, I can't, I've I can't I've fit I've that checked in. that. Yeah, you've already checked that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, good. Good news is it can't take that one. Uh, I can't get the fish <coughs> there, so the fish would have to be there, which would get six points. No, I'm just going to take that one. I'm going to put it in there, which is also two, four, six, six points. Uh, what am I blue? So what was it? Seven. Nine. Oh. One, two, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Two turns left each. Also, so, away so, so, so this is it, is it tiles or objects? Objects. It's objects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've easily got that, I think. Yeah, what well, I was concerned <coughs> was tiles. It, mm, yeah, you, got, you got eight. Well, even so, yeah, there's no more available. So, well, unless I cover True. them up. You got that. Unless I cover them up. But no chance on the. Whatever these red things are. Uh, red trees. Uh, <laughs> I'm in Explosions. second place, and I don't think second place can be taken nope. here. Ponds, forget it. So it doesn't really matter what I place, except insofar as it impacts you guys, maybe. Then, of course, the question of what can I place? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I could definitely place that. And that's. I don't think we're going to catch up with you. You're on 23, I'm on 7, so now 16 points to catch up. Not going to happen. But I don't think there's a massive end game scoring. Yeah, true. Yeah. But I'm not doing too well in that. I think you're I'm doing better I'm than hoping the end game on scoring. this. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, right. I'll, so I'll place yeah, this definitely. here. So so one two down, points. Chances of me getting that one are great. Four points for a level 4 rock. One, two, three, four, which is there. Right, you've got three. ultimate turn. You've got three fish. I have eight fish. And I've got one, two, three, five, six. You've got eight fish? I have eight three, fish. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got ten Sorry, fish. Sorry, ten fish. You've got, got eight, eight fish. fish. So getting a fish and placing over, over another fish is not going to change my second place placement. No. So I might as well do that for three points. Three points. It's not going to have any red bush I like. <coughs> yep. No, I have a red bush. <laughs> so we all take a red bush. So interesting, the whole game, no one was in a position where they were unable to play. Nope. So I get uh, it. Two points for me. Two points for me. Right. And we are done with the rounds, and now we go to end game scoring. Uh, Graham is saying, are you obliged to take and play a tile if you can, or can you choose to pass? Good question. <laughs> I will check the rules. I'm because, not sure why okay. there's a situation where you might not want to. Because in the other game we played earlier, you had to. Yeah. So I don't get the rules mixed up. Well, you might not want to, in, in so far as it could reduce... You could Swapping a three for a one. Yeah. Yeah. So w it doesn't say may or must. I, I suspect it doesn't you say either of them. The I suspect you have to. The rules are not must. explicit. Yeah. Can. So yeah, it doesn't say. It's a shame it doesn't say. I like to use may and must in my rule books to say whether it is uh, optional or not. Okay. We are doing final scoring. So red bushes, who's got the most? Not me. me. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get 15 points and I get seven. So 15 points. Seven. 20. I'm going to knock two off. Then I'm going to add 15. Then I'm going to add two on because that's the way my brain works. <laughs> okay. And I've got seven, which is one, two, and then five. Right. Scoring for buildings. First place over there is 12. So one, two, uh, and then 10. And then you get second place, which is six. Six. Now we have fishes, which is me, so I get nine. And you've got second, so I get four. which is four. One, two, three, four. Next we have the, the pink blossomy trees. Posies, whatever. I've got seven. I've got more than seven. So eight. Eight, yeah. Four. Eight and four. Trees. Three, six, seven. Six. One, one. So seven for black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three for blue, and then rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is six. <laughs> Just go. Oh, I've got. I got three. I got one. Sorry, I've got six. 
I'm two, you've got six, six as well. Got six. One, two, three. Oh, I can't believe it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so. One point in it. There, there is one point in it. Wow. Oh. That was close. So yellow wins with 150. 149, second place, <laughs> coming from behind at the end. Uh, and then Monkey, not me, Monkey. <laughs> Monkey was in third place with 135. You're not very good at striking games, are you? I can't believe how close that was. Because bananas, you might have been better. Very, very close. Mm. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, bear in mind I had no bonuses. And I didn't get to level five. Yeah. I think that's, I a, went for that, these. that's a solid game. That is. Yeah. Um, really enjoyed that. Would definitely play again. What was the play time? 40 minutes? 40 minutes. Including explanation. Including the explanation. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that's, that's my th first thoughts on it after one play. Yeah, what about all, you two? It's all right. I enjoyed it. Um, mm. It is fairly light, uh, but that's the theme of today. So. Yeah. Yes. But it gets Expansion more thinky well. as it goes on. It does, yeah. yeah. But I was seriously worried I wasn't going to be out of place. I was going to have to drop out of the placement because I wouldn't be out of place tiles. Yeah. Because uh, going for this strategy of not filling in puts you at high risk because you probably always find it easy to place anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the thing. I've got nine, nine, nine. So but I, but I, think, I think my, my garden is more elegant. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. Well, art is subjective. So <laughs> yeah. So I did mention at the start of the video. Um, oh, Kim's got a question. I wonder if one of the seven additional modules disallows it placing same shape over same shape. Uh, and Ori is saying interesting oh, choice. Oh. That game allows you to stack same shape over shape of same size. Yeah, number nine disallows it. So in, in this game, you could put a three directly over a three. But only if you can... Yeah. Yeah, it it's, not, it's not totally straightforward. That's yeah. the thing. You've, you, it's the lanterns that make it. So I mentioned at the start of the video that what you've seen here is the base game. The game comes with seven module mini expansion things. Where are they? So, I mean, again, similar to what we said for the earlier game, this perfectly suitable for a family. Yes. Maybe a little bit they'd have to think. You don't want to yeah. play this on Christmas. It's like patchwork. Whatever it's called. It's right? a bit more than patchwork, I think. Yeah, but, but it's a level up from that. It's a, level it's a similar up. kind. If you've played that, you can move on to this. Yeah. So there are, yeah. Oh, five. I said seven. I meant five. Where did I get seven from? Oh, one of them's called seven. That's why. It's five mini expansions. But what's interesting about them is that they are in order of complexity, but you can add in as many as you want. Okay. So you can completely You change could it. play with all of them. Wow. Okay. So expansion expansion A is this one. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just so you can see a little bit. There you go, and you've got all the bits all over the table because we unpunched this <laughs> earlier on. Never unpunch on top of the table. It's not dandruff. It's not done. <laughs> right, we have this. So this is expansion A, which is the colourful garden. At the end of the game, each player also scores their largest connected group of directly okay. adjacent objects, horizontal and vertical. Different layers do not break up the group, but in empty green fields do. Right. And you get one point for each individual object in the group. So I would get one, two, three, four. Oh, I'll have to zoom out now because... They don't have to do the same object, no? No. Don't have to be the same object. It's a dragon castle. So if this oh, was the situation, I would get yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Because that's my... Oh, no. 1, 2, uh, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11 is my biggest one, two, three, four, contiguous five, seven, orthogonal eight, nine, group ten. of objects. 10 is my biggest, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 12. So yeah. that's what that one is. Okay. When does that happen? At the end of the round? End of the game. Oh, end of the game. End of the game. I see. The big meadow is the next one. You can guess what this does. <laughs> uh, at the end of the game, you score your largest connected group of uh, entirely empty green garden tiles. Right. Yeah, two points for each one. Four. Uh, for me, that would be two. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the big meadow. Next is the Zen Garden, which is this one. And we have those extra This tiles. is where the Zen tiles come in. So there are some extra tiles included in the game. There are 16 of these Zen tiles. Uh, they're shuffled and laid out face down next to the scoreboard and you flip over five tiles to start. You play the basic game. I'm not going to go into full details, uh, but basically you can place these Zen tiles on the board and you will get points accordingly. It seems to link link things looking at this iconography. Yeah. You put it in the middle and everything around it. There's a whole page of rules Gosh. just for the Zen tiles. <laughs> right. Next we have expansion number four, which is called Seven. 
exclamation mark, which is this one. Uh, at the end of the game, you also score your rows and columns based on the following formula. You get seven points for every column or row where there are exactly seven objects. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, and then finally... No. <laughs> ribbit. The frog. And it comes with some extra frog counters. Um, so the game is played the same as the basic game. However, your frog may be moved by one space either before or after your regular turn. So you, you each get a frog marker, which is placed on a space of your choice on the game board, silver frog facing up. And then on your turn, uh, before or after you, your regular turn, you can move the frog horizontally or vertically to a neighboring space. Um, it can't be moved to a lower layer, and each time it reaches a higher layer, you immediately get points. So one point for layer one, two points for layer two, etc., etc. So it jumps up. When the silver frog reaches the fourth layer, it transforms into a golden frog. Uh, and the golden frog can then be moved onto objects. And there you go. Wow. So yeah, five little mini expansions huh. included in the game, which um, yeah, which you can use any or all of them in any combination whatsoever. But yeah, for your first game, I'd stick with the yeah. base game and advance from there. So Talk a couple of messages in the chat. Uh, Ori saying it's less intimidating than patchwork, which has tile costs and an economy. True? Yeah, that is true. Um, but there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, playthrough video. Thank you very much to Haber for providing the copy of the game. Tiffany did say it was really good, and I agree. <laughs> it is It is really good now having played it. Um, thank you very much again to you two yeah, for joining in. And this is the third of eight live streams this week. <laughs> so that's three down, five to go. Tomorrow I'm doing a solo playthrough of Sensor Ghosts, which is um, the follow-up game to Assembly. And then on Friday, we're doing four live streams. What are we doing? Can't remember. Cartographers, uh, Fast Sloths, oh yeah. <laughs> Newton Expansion. One more, what is it I'm doing? I can't remember. I can find out. Anyway, I'm doing one more. I'm doing four <laughs> live streams on Friday. Um, but anyway, for now, thank you very much to everybody for watching live in the chat. Thank you for all the comments. Uh, and hello to everybody watching afterwards. <coughs> and that's it. Graham says he's just ordered a copy. <laughs> there you go. Right. Thanks, everybody. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. See you later. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.